It's not so long ago that Suella Braverman, this person who dreams of malice, it's not so long ago that she claimed that people coming across the channel presented a security risk. And yet, the newspapers today tell us very clearly that it's Suella Braverman who is the cause of MI5 saying there is a security risk. MI5 flagged up Suella Braverman's actions uh, that resulted in her being forced to resign last week as a security risk. She is the security risk, and yet she has become the Home Office Secretary of State. This is ironic. This leaves her with no power, no authority, no, um, no, no room to manoeuvre. How can she possibly turn round and uh, talk in such censorious tones to a person appealing for asylum when she herself has now been branded a security risk? It doesn't matter how many lessons she has on the best way to handle her email. She's now been appointed Home Secretary for the second time and she still doesn't seem to have learned her lessons. It's shocking. Did she not have this security advice when she was first appointed as Home Secretary? Or did she spurn that advice? Was that rather like the advice given to uh, the then Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng, something that was jettisoned before he had to jettison his package? What package of advice did Suella Braverman not process? I'm, I, 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 the more I hear of this, the more appalled I become that this person is now in control of the police, that this person is now in control of counter-terrorism, that this person is now in control of our efforts to restrain immigration. This person is a liability.